because in the love song of JF of Proof Rock, there are things that make me feel less alone. I can read in that poem brilliant, memorable lines that tell me I'm not the only one who finds myself ridiculous. I'm not the only one who is at least in a state of panic about how seriously to take himself. I'm not the only one who, at least at one point in his life, felt a lack of confidence with women. I'm not the only one who worries about how to express himself. No, that is not what I meant. That is not what I meant at all. That kind of thing. I'm not the only one who worries about the aging process. That's not something I noticed when I was 17. And the inevitable end of the aging process and the worry that you get to that point and you can't face death with a massive sense of bloated self-satisfaction, which frankly is how I'd like to die, but instead with a catalog of regrets about the chances not taken. And also, I understand all of his worrying now about all this worrying, whether any of this matters, particularly in the face of inevitable human oblivion. I mean, if we're all drowning, not waving, then who cares what I think? Am I some big deal, some big profit? No. No. I am not Prince Hamlet, nor was meant to be. I am an attendant lord, one that will do to swell a progress, start a scene or two, advise the prince, no doubt an easy tool, deferential, glad to be of use, politic, cautious, and meticulous, full of high sentence, but a bit obtuse, at times indeed, almost ridiculous, almost at times, the fool. I grow old, I grow old, I shall wear the bottoms of my trousers rolled, Shall I part my hair behind? Do I dare to eat a peach? I shall wear white flannel trousers and walk upon the beach. I have heard the mermaids singing, each to each. I do not think that they will sing to me. I have seen them riding seaward on the waves, combing the white hair of the waves blown back when the wind blows the water white and black. We have lingered in the chambers of the sea by seagulls wreathed with seaweed, red and brown, till human voices wake us and we drown.